two of them here. But that's what you're looking at, right? Today we are in Hot Springs, Arkansas on Lake Hamilton where a gentleman by the name of Justin reached out to me. He's a local fisherman on the lake. He sent me some sonar and he said, Jared, I believe that I found what appears to be a muscle car. But the weird thing about this one, Jacob, is, is that this muscle car or this car is in a location just around the corner here in a cove where a housing development has now gone in. So this is not a fresh car. It's not a recent car. For Justin, he doesn't know how this car got here. You know, was it five years ago, 10 years ago, 15, 20, 30 years ago? We don't know what the story of the car is. When I started doing a little bit of research, there was a gentleman in the area by the name of Harry Engel, who went missing in 2008. He was working at a local Ford dealership and the demo car that he was driving has never been found. Oh, wow. So we have a vehicle that's been found in a weird location that should not be there. We have a gentleman that's missing, a car that's missing, but if this is not Carrie and the vehicle that we're looking for, there's other missing persons in their area as well. So anyway, we do have Justin, who is the fisherman, will be joining us in a little bit. We are currently going to get on the water, jump over that cove right now. It's a little bit of a way, so I'm glad that Jacob from Chaos Divers has joined us today because his boat's a little bit faster than ours. So I think we're just gonna jump in with you real quick, okay. jump over there and see what we can spot okay. as to where the location of this car is. That's right. Cool, let's do it. This is the uh, famous Justin that we were just talking about who uh, gave us a pin location. So what we'll do is we'll put you on the uh, boat okay. with uh, Doug yeah. today. Okay. So Doug's gonna grab his suit, take it on the boat. Jacob's gonna drive the boat out and then I'm just gonna hang back and let the three of you guys head out with the camera guy. Okay, And And uh, show him the location and we'll put eyes on it real quick and see what it is. All right, I've got a buddy of mine coming too. They, they fish out here quite a bit. He's gonna talk to y'all about some of this stuff maybe they found or whatever awesome we'll see we'll okay. come up with. yeah because you have a couple of uh, missing persons in the area so yeah, right yep yeah this you know this thing's got a steep history this area i don't know if you've read up about it but hot springs it, the, the mob used to hang out here a lot um al capone lucky luciano you know all these people used to hang out in the hot springs before vegas was was big yeah you know so there's a lot of a lot of happening a lot of stuff happening in this area okay so it's, it's kind of kind of a neat area a lot of history you know, nice. uh, the day I found this vehicle, I was pre-fishing for a tournament and ran across it and found it side images and didn't really know what to do with, with it. But actually a friend of mine had found a vehicle up at Dardanelle that was right before you guys did the Samantha Hopper thing on Dardanelle up that way. Uh -huh. And uh, so anyway, he had found a vehicle. He said, oh, you got to notify the authorities or whatever. So I called them and they came out and they had a little inferior technology, so they couldn't quite get the picture that I had. Mm -hmm. They said they would dive it in the spring. As far as I know, I haven't heard anything about it. So, but it looked like I got one good image where it looked like it's kind of on its either on its side or on its back. It looked like a good square body, like an old muscle car. Okay. You know? Yeah. So, pretty cool looking. Yeah. About how deep was it? Uh, or, if, now listen, this lake fluctuates a lot, especially okay. this time of year. They'll draw it down for people to work on their docks, so it uh -huh. may come down nine to twelve feet. Mm -hmm. uh, this was in September, so I don't remember what the lake level was at the yeah. time, but I would say anywhere between nine and. 12 feet okay like that. yeah all right so all you right. don't need to suit up just hold your breath you'll be good <laughs> not at all i think we need to suit up all right i'm gonna get your dry suit for you and... i'm gonna grab some bibs and throw on it okay? cool. sounds good now we're filling up the pony bottle so I have enough pressure to do what we're doing it's not a deep dive today so I won't need much but it's always good to be better safe than sorry
there's no doubt in my mind that we're not not going to find it. Uh, all right, here it is right here. There may be two of them here, but that's what you're looking at, right? I can't see it from this angle. Yep. Let me, uh, let me. Yeah, that's it. it. Got a magnet on here. We do. Good news is it's 10 feet, 15. When I tell you to throw it. I'm, I'm dragging it. I, I understand, but when I tell you to throw it, you throw it out about a foot. Okay. And then, uh, like directly behind you, because I'll go straight over it, and you'll usually latch onto it when you throw it down and let it fall. Yeah. Okay, so we're almost right over it again. We may just be able to, I may be able to just line it up. All right, over it, go. Now throw it. That wasn't it. So let me see that magnet real quick. Move over on that side. Let me see that magnet. All right, it's on there, locked. Sure. Yep, right. promise you. Got it? Yep, good job. understood them correctly it's been in there a super long time the top is off it's a habitat for the fish 10-4 been there a long time habitat for the fish oh yeah whatever uh, damage is done to the environment it's already done whatever damage to the environment's already done Everything he touches is coming right off. Unrecognizable vehicle. Too old. Everything he's touching is just so dilapidated, it's just falling apart. So it is a vehicle. Visibility is none now. He's he's clouded it all up, so he's gonna wait. Check these wheels out, these wheels are so skinny. And then you have this whole fire. So with the wheel, I'm gonna begin my I sit too fast, so I think I'm gonna begin my ascent. Ten four on beginning your ascent. Good job. Oh wow. What is that? That is the headlight. Oh, that, that's a super old car. Oh man, that is so cool. Like, it's, that is insanely awesome. Whatever it is, 60 years old at least. Really? And yeah, that, that's an old military vehicle or maybe like one of the first Jeeps ever. Was, Completely, like just crumbles in my hand. I got really good footage of it. Crumbles in my hand, no identification markers on it. When we look at the footage, we're gonna see exactly what it is. The, the flares going over the wheels oh, wow. are so distinct. Yeah. Big, big wheel, like 30 inch plus wheels, but really skinny, you know, really neat. Almost reminds, reminds me of an old military vehicle. It, it could very well possibly be, but very, very. With the big, big tires with the small slender wheels. Yep, yep. 
Uh, nothing else. I tried looking inside of it best I can. Everything's gone. Uh, nothing in it. Really neat. Well, good job. Oh, you want to dive on that box? Yeah, put a magnet on it. All right, then. All right, it's on there. Diver down. We found it. He's on it. It's a really, really big box. He's coming up. 10 4 coming up. Good job. I just want to take a second to thank Justin. Justin, thank you for getting a hold yeah, of us no problem, with this image. Really cool. Like at this point, we don't even know what it is. So please, you, the viewers, reach out to us. What do you think that was? What do you think the box was? And, and not only that, it a lot of what we do depends on you guys reaching out to us, giving us tips and clues. And that's what allows us to do a lot of what we do as well as viewing, subscribing, sharing. Please take the time, make sure you're subscribed, like, share, leave a comment, refer us to a friend, spread the word. We're out here doing amazing things. Thank you guys for watching, really appreciate it. Until next time, you know what to do.